drives it into right center field, hit a ton. This baby is way back. On of here! What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. This is Eric. And today, it's time to talk San Francisco Giants and put together a potential 26-man opening day roster. The way I see it right now, there still could be more moves, more signings, who knows. But as of right now, just a couple weeks away from opening day, I'm going to put together what I see as the most likely opening day roster. I want your thoughts down below. And in putting together this roster, we'll have a chance to talk about what I saw in spring training in, in uh, Scottsdale. I was there. Really enjoyed it. Great ballpark, great fans, and the players were really fun to watch. And a lot of these young guys, I think, will be impact players. Even some that won't make the opening day roster, I think we will see in 2024 that some of these guys are going to do big things. So really excited about this team. Without further ado, let's jump into it. You can see I got the rotation, the bullpen, catchers, infield, outfield, slash DH. And if, as for the rotation, I'm a little worried about the rotation. That's the biggest concern I have. We already have an injury with Beck out. Haven't really signed any major free agents. Uh, yeah, we got Jordan Hicks. We'll talk about him in a second. But the rotation is my biggest concern. I'm afraid we're going to be having a lot of bullpen games. And I, I'm not a huge fan of those. But let's go ahead and get into it. Logan Webb might have an outside shot of making this team. But no, he's going to be our ace for sure. He hasn't really looked that great in spring training, but we're not going to worry about that because Logan Webb's a pro. He's going to be all right. But someone who has pitched well in spring training, which is really important because he's not quite as seasoned as Logan Webb, but Kyle Harrison uh, has looked fantastic. The strikeout stuff is there. He's got an ERA about 2, 2.08 right now, I think is where it's at. And uh, he's been absolutely legit. Um, and then, of course, the next guy who's going to make this team Supposed to be in the rotation, converting from a relief pitcher to a starter is, of course, Jordan Hicks. So we'll throw him in there. And these are these are the three guaranteed as I see it right now. Uh, Jordan Hicks has looked pretty decent so far. Other than that, obviously, Alex Cobb is hurt. He won't be on the opening day roster. He'll be back later. Robbie Ray, still recovering. He'll be back later. Mason Black, I would think, would be a, a favorite to make this rotation. He hasn't looked good. He's pretty much gotten lit up every time I've seen him pitch in spring training, so I'm not so sure. Spencer Howard's another guy, but what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and start with the obvious ones. And these are the only three I'm going to put as obvious guaranteed right now. So we'll come back and we'll go a second pass through. But let's just start with the obvious ones, the ones that we pretty much guaranteed are going to make the team. So we'll start with those three before we jump now into the bullpen. And I think that uh, Camilo Doval is going to be on this team. He has been electric. This is his year. He's already proven himself, but I think this year he's going to become superstar status. Like most Major League Baseball fans who haven't already heard of Camilo Doval will hear of him this year. He's going to become a big time closer in Major League Baseball if he's not already. I mean, I think he is already, but look for him to I mean, be absolute shutdown closer for this team. We need Doval to have a big year, and I think it's going to happen. He's looked great in spring training. Let's go ahead and throw the Rogers twins on here. And to be honest, I uh, is that Taylor? I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, both these guys have pitched great. They've both been fantastic. They've both pretty much been equally as good. So Taylor and Tyler Rogers, both on this team. Uh, other than that, I think that Luke Jackson, here he is, Luke Jackson, uh, obviously experienced big leaguer. He's, he's, he's definitely going to be in that bullpen for us, and uh, he's also been pitching pretty well this spring. I mean, it, it, we could talk about Ryan Walker. I mean, Ryan Walker has not pitched well in spring training, but Ryan Walker's probably going to make the team. We'll, we'll, we'll get, come back to the bullpen, but um, Sean Jelly, every time Sean Jelly goes out there, he gets lit up, so I'm not really sure, but there's a lot of bullpen arms that have been really impressive this spring who I think should either make the team or very quickly get promoted. So we'll see. But those are the four we're going to start with. Those are the four uh, absolute guarantees. So let's move on to catchers. Oh, my goodness. This is interesting. This is interesting because you got Patrick Bailey. Definite, right? Patrick Bailey is our guy. He's our star. He hasn't had the best spring, but he's already proven himself. He's the guy. But then there's Joey Bart. And then there's Sable still here. But we signed Tom Murphy. Here's Joey Bart. We signed Tom Murphy 
as well to come in and uh, supposedly a two-year contract, major league contract. It's not really a question about Tom Murphy. He's going to be on the team, right? But Bart's tearing it up. Bart's tearing it up, but he does tear it up in spring training. That's kind of what he does. Let's just throw Patrick Bailey because I think we could say Patrick Bailey, without a doubt, will be on the team. And, and we'll come back to the, the this discussion because it's really interesting. But Joey Bart's tearing it up. And man, I'd, I'd hate to get rid of him right now. And, and, and even though you can say, well, dude, he's already had his time. He's had his chances. 2020, 21, 22, 20. I mean, how many chances is he going to get? I get that. But uh, he was a second overall pick. And uh, I, don't know, I, I wish we could just give him just one more, one more trial, one more shot in the big leagues. But uh, then again, right now, his trade value is high. Let's just come back to it. Like I said, we'll make a second pass through just to kind of make the final touches on this roster. But Patrick Bailey's a guarantee. Moving into the infield, right off the bat, let's just go ahead and throw Lamont Wade Jr. in there. Lamont Wade Jr. will be on the team. Tyro Estrada will be the Giants' starting second baseman. So we have our first baseman, Wade Jr., great on-base guy. Had a fantastic first half last year. Uh, I think Tyro's proven himself as an everyday big leaguer. Uh, they're both looking pretty good in spring training, um, getting their work in. Shortstop sort of up for grabs right now. Marco Luciano was supposed to be the guy. He's had a little injury issue, hasn't played well in spring training, hasn't looked that great. So I'm going to hold off on, on shortstop for now. But I can say for sure that Matt Chapman's got a, chi a shot, got an outside shot. But no, Matt Chapman, 100% uh, of course, will be on this team. And uh, he brings elite defense. You know, a big power and a, 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 a very solid bat. I personally would have rather held on to J.D. Davis and signed a top-tier pitcher for the rotation. I think that was the bigger need. Maybe they tried. I don't know. But it is what it is. We got Matt Chapman. I'm excited to have him. He'll be our starting third baseman. And other than that, obviously, Wilmer Flores is the only other 100% guarantee that I see right now. There's lots of good, strong infield options um, we're going to have to have someone, uh, obviously, some other infielders on this team to cover shortstop. But uh, And we'll talk about those potential guys here when we come back through. Obviously, Tyler Fitzgerald comes to mind. But there's some other guys who have been absolutely tearing it up in spring training, like Nick Ahmed and uh, a few young players who I really like what I see. So uh, we'll get back to them. But these are four are for sure. We are now at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So with the addition of Wilmer Flores, that makes 12. Now let's go to the outfield. Um, Michael Conforto for sure and I mean Mike Yastrzemski hasn't really played that well and he's had some injury issues so has Austin Slater Austin Slater actually had surgery after last season it looks like he's back he's out there he's hitting but uh, I kind of got a, a, a suspicion that either Yaz or Slater might start the year on the IL but I'm going to throw Mike Yastrzemski on there I'll say Yastrzemski makes the opening day roster and Obviously, we also got to throw our DH in there. Jorge Soler has been absolutely raking. Uh, hasn't hit any home runs, I think, yet, but he's been hitting the ball hard. Uh, I saw his debut game. It was really fun, and, and he just looked great out there. So Jorge Soler is going to be the DH. And I also saw the debut of Wong Jung-Hoo Lee. And Jung-Hoo Lee has been just raking. He's doing what exactly what we wanted. I know it's just spring training off a guy who'll be bagging groceries in a couple weeks. But guess what? Hey, but that's all we can ask for. It is spring training. And he's going out there and he's doing it. He's, he's hitting the ball. He's putting the ball in play. And he's getting base hits. He's, he's, he's just coming through and getting on base. So Jung Hoo Lee looks like everything we wanted him to look like. We'll see when the regular season starts. But definitely super excited for him. I, I recorded his first at bat in a Giants uniform in spring training. Put it up on Twitter. Put it up on YouTube. Didn't expect much. Went freaking super viral. I mean, maybe not super viral, but it went... It went crazy. I was like, damn. Um, tens of thousands of views, both on Twitter and... I haven't even checked on Twitter. I don't even know where it's at right now on Twitter. But um, it was it went, it went was like, whoa, I didn't expect that. A lot of uh, Korean baseball fans were sharing it out there. Uh, it's actually all over YouTube. A lot of people downloaded my video and put it up as their own. I didn't even say anything. Because, hey, it's promoting Jung Hoo Lee and the Giants. So I'm okay with it. Other guys of note, Yusniel Diaz, I think he's already been, some of these guys have already been optioned back to uh, minor league camp, but Yusniel Diaz, a guy uh, we picked up from the Dodgers organization, he's uh, swinging a, a very hot bat. I'm liking what I see from him, excited. I think he'll make his big league debut at some point this year. That's Yusniel Diaz. And then, of course, 
Luis Matos already has at least three home runs. I saw one against the A's, just absolutely smashed it. Um, got that one on video, as you can see. So Luis Matos, I think, has a really good chance to make this team. Uh, Elliot Ramos has already been reassigned to minor league camp. So obviously he's not in the plans, which is really sad. At this point in time, he was supposed to be our starting outfielder, one of our starting outfielders, without a doubt. But um, not looking too good for Ramos. Grant McCray is swinging a pretty good bat as well. I'm excited about him, but I don't think he'll be on the opening day roster. But um, we'll come back through. We're going to go back through right now, matter of fact. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 guys who I would say are absolute locks for that final roster. And some would argue more of these guys are as well. But back to the rotation. Uh, the, the guy who was supposed to be in this rotation was Keaton Wynn. Keaton Wynn had an injury issue around the same time Beck did. Beck's turned out to be more serious. Beck is on the injured list. Beck's not going to be on the team on opening day. Wynn, on the other hand, has made a minor league start, so he's back pitching again. And I think the Giants really like him. I think I think we have to give Keaton Wynn the benefit of the doubt right now uh, that he'll probably end up being on this team as a, a fourth starter. And what about the back end of the rotation? What about do we need a fifth guy? Or are they just going to do a bullpen game? Well, I'm going to put a fifth guy. And I know for me, I, I mean, I don't know who it's going to be, but one guy who got invited to spring training, I was pretty excited about it. I liked what I've seen from him so far. He used to be a pretty hot prospect with the Phillies, and that's Spencer Howard. He's looking a lot better this year. Uh, he has had a cup of coffee in the big leagues with the Phillies, I think, and didn't pitch too well. But And then he bounced around a little bit. He was in the Rangers organization. But um, right now, with the injuries, I think that he's the best shot right now. Best option as a fifth guy. Um, this rotation is the best I can put together with the non-injured pitchers that we have right now available. The other guy I have to mention is Mason Black. I think Mason Black was a favorite. He doesn't look good to me. I mean, he looks uh, his control's off. He gets hit hard. Uh, I was there in his uh, first start this spring and got completely lit up. And, and I know it's spring training, but it's just consistent. He's just not getting guys out, and he's also not hitting his spots. So I'm a little worried about Mason Black. I think he needs a little more seasoning. But uh, as of right now, I'd rather have Spencer Howard. That's who I'm putting. I think that's who is slightly uh, ahead right now, even in the minds of uh, of Bob, uh, Bob uh, I almost said Bob Brindley, of uh, Bob Melvin. So we'll see. Back to the bullpen discussion. There's a whole bunch of names. Uh, let's look through some of the faces here. I see Amir Garrett right away. Amir Garrett picked up as a powerful lefty, former Reds pitcher. He's a pretty big name, pretty big, big time relief pitcher at one time. Love to have him, but so far hasn't really pitched that well in spring training. Hasn't been too impressive. Ryan Walker, of course, is kind of a, like I, I said earlier, he's kind of a go-to. I think I'll probably, I'm going to throw him right here in the front because I think he's the next guy I'm going to throw on there. Um, the other guys still have a good chance. Oh, let me, okay, so we have him. Uh, Landon Roop, right here. Landon Roop has uh, just incredible stuff. Great strikeout stuff. It's been really impressive um, what I've seen from him this season, uh, this spring training. And, but we probably would want to use another lefty besides uh, Taylor Rogers. And uh, like I said, Amir Garrett was probably the favorite coming into spring training. Haven't seen enough right here to to put him on the team, to be honest. But uh, a guy who I have seen enough from is someone who we picked up, in uh, who used to be a pretty big prospect. We got a lot of former top prospects from other teams who other teams have given up on. And maybe they get new life here. Ethan Small right here he has been phenomenal um he's given up a few runs uh i think in his last start or his last appearance but um he's looking electric as well the, these three guys um all have really good potential but um whether they'll make the team out of spring training i don't know i think that walker i'm gonna go ahead and throw walker in there into the bullpen i think he's just um uh, he gets kind of his job to lose right now i think the giants like him and uh, he's part of the 40-man the roster, so we'll throw him there. But I do think that both Roop and Small should be on this team. I'm throwing them on there. I'm throwing them on there. That gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bullpen arms. Probably going to throw one more in there, but that's a pretty damn good-looking bullpen for me. 
uh, at this point in time. Also, uh, Juan Sanchez has been really impressive this spring. I, I don't think he's going to make the team out of spring training, but he's another lefty uh, with really good stuff and uh, looking super impressive. So look for Juan Sanchez at some point this year. We may add one more. Uh, Dalton Jeffries is another possibility uh, who has been really impressive. Another former top prospect. He was with the A's, I think, and was one. Of, I remember he was the ace for Cal back in uh, 2016, 15, 16, and um, he was a top prospect. Uh, catcher. Oh my goodness. We're back to catcher. We got to make a decision here. I got to make this deal. I put it off as far as I can. Uh, if it was up to me, I'm carrying three catchers. I'm pulling Joey Bart because, but let's just be honest. They signed Tom Murphy to a two-year deal. There, he's not going to not make the team. I mean, I'm. I know he's a hard worker. He's a good player. He's he's had some good years with the Mariners, but I, I mean, his ceiling is only so high, in my opinion. And, and I think he'll be a, a fine backup catcher for us, or Tom Murphy, but. I would love to give Joey Bart one more shot. And, and if it was up to me, I'd find a way. I'd throw all three of them on there. But I don't think the Giants are going to do that. I think they're going to trade Bart. I think they're going to trade Bart while his value is highest right here. He's having a great spring. And I think the Giants will trade Joey Bart before opening day. So I'm going to say Tom Murphy and Patrick uh, Bailey make the team as our catchers. All right, infielders. Um, I see some of their faces here. Going to have to find them, but... Tyler Fitzgerald, saw him hit a grand slam. I think that was against the Angels. Um, amazing. Uh, he's been hitting the ball hard. He's got a good chance. Uh, Casey Schmidt, obviously one of our top prospects, but he's not been looking that great this spring. Fell off last year after that hot start. He has options. He'll probably be in the minor leagues. I mentioned Nick Ahmed. He has been tearing it up. Big league experience. Great defense. Couple home runs. And he's just doing everything he can to say, hey, I'm I'm going to make this team. We need a shortstop, and Marco Luciano hasn't been that great. Otto Lopez, we picked up. He's been solid. We could start him in the minor leagues. Uh, Otto Lopez, you know, there's no no rush. David VR, he's looked pretty good, but, you know, he's more of a, a corners guy. But David VR is a, a quadruple A guy, in my opinion. I really like him, and I, I think he may get some more time with the Giants this year, but I don't see him making the opening day roster. Other than that, uh, Trenton Brooks, another guy, first baseman. Um... I think that's him right here. Trenton Brooks, He's he's been looking pretty good this year uh, in spring training, but just not enough room. And uh, pa how do I, I didn't put Pablo Sandoval's picture here. Uh, sorry about that. I should have put Pablo here. But Pablo, uh, oh, we got to add him to this. But uh, Pablo Sandoval, unfortunately, hasn't really done too much this year. It's fun to watch. If he stays in the organization, he'll have to go down to AAA. I just, I just don't see, uh, I don't see a path for him to make the opening day roster, especially when... We just got rid of J.D. Davis, who can play third and first. We feel we don't need J.D. Davis. Well, I mean, that just doesn't make sense to that Pablo would make the team if there's no room for J.D. So, But Nick Ahmed, former Diamondbacks, starting shortstop for many, many years, kind of got screwed over a little bit. I mean, it's a business and it happens, but he just happened to get released after all those years with the D-backs, the year they happened to go to the World Series. That, that really sucks um, for Nick Ahmed um, that, you know, he... Was there through thick and thin with the Diamondbacks, and then gets let go right before they go all the way to the Fall Classic. And I uh, feel bad for him, but he's proven himself this spring. And I, and I think Nick Ahmed, right now over Marco Luciano, is going to be on this team. He'll be here opening day, and if he continues to do well, he'll he'll stay. So Nick Ahmed will be on this team. So let it be written. So let it be done. And I wish I could say Casey Schmidt or Marco Luciano or, or you know, even uh, David VR, But unfortunately, those guys just haven't haven't really shown enough, I think. And the guy who has is Tyler Fitzgerald. Tyler Fitzgerald, he's, he, he hits the ball well. Um, he's got some good pop. And he'll be kind of a role player uh, coming in there to play some infield for the Giants, I think. And I think he also makes the opening day roster. So that's it for the infield. One, two, three, four, five. I got six infielders. Still only four outfielders. I think we got to add at least one more outfielder. And in my opinion, I, I talked about several of these guys. Now, Austin Slater is the, the obvious. I kind of got to feel like him or Yaz. I don't know why. I just feel like one of them will start the year on the IL. To make room, not for Ramos, but for one of two guys. 
either Luis Matos, who I mentioned, but I don't remember. I don't think I've mentioned him yet. And his name is Ismael Munguia. Oh! Here he is right here. Ismael Munguia. First at bat I saw him in spring training, he just crushed one out of the ballpark. But every time he comes up, he seems to hit the ball hard, loud contact. It looks like he has solid athleticism, good speed, good defense, and uh, just like everything I saw from Munguia. And, you know, I don't think the Giants will rush him into the opening day roster, but I had to mention him because I think that he's going to be a guy we'll see this year at some point. And look look, look for him in in, uh, in Sacramento. But uh, he has an outside shot. I, I don't even, he may have been already released to uh, minor league camp, but I'm not sure. I think he's still, is still in big league camp. But either way, I don't think Mungia is going to quite make it, but he has been super freaking impressive. Um, but the other guy who has been, who I think will make it, is Luis Matos. And, and I think right now, that's five guys, right? Luis Matos, yeah, you could you could put on uh, here Austin Slater and put Matos in AAA, but I think Matos has, has earned his way to the big leagues. I think he deserves it right now. And I think because of the surgery and everything, and and, and um, Austin Slater kind of still working his way back, they say he's, he's healthy and 100%, at least offensively, ready to go. Something tells me him, or maybe Yaz, because Yaz has been struggling so bad. Something tells me one or the other will start the year on the I.L., I'm going to throw Matos in the outfield as the fifth outfielder. And that's a 25-man roster, but we need a 26-man roster. And I think we're going to add that last bullpen arm. I talked about if I had room, I was going to throw him on there. And since we have one more spot, I think Dalton Jeffries is going to make this team. Right now, I see Dalton Jeffries as the uh, last option there in the ball. Not necessarily the last option in the bullpen. I don't mean it that way, but I mean... He's the last guy I'm going to throw on there from the bullpen, uh, Dalton Jeffries. And uh, there you go. That's a 26-man roster. And uh, we'll talk about some of these guys. Like, uh, we got good old uh, Wisely here. We've got some good, solid players. Jackson Reitz. Some of these catchers they invited to spring barely play. Obviously, I don't think he's a big uh, part of the plan here, especially with the um, the, the catching uh, surplus already with Joey Bart. But... And uh, uh, Blake Sable, now that he's been here a full year, I think he'll start the year in the minor leagues. Wade Meckler has had a great spring, but he's already been sent to minor league camp. So um, Yoshi Tsutsugo has had some good at-bats, at but I don't think he's really shown enough to uh, to make the opening day roster. So, um, yeah, I mean, overall, uh, Eric Miller, another good pitcher, but he's already been sent back down. Um, and, yeah, I think that's about it. So... Uh, anyone else you uh, that I haven't mentioned, let me know, and I'll, I'll tell you what I thought I saw. But that's pretty much it. Um, Kaiway Tang, look for him at some point this year, but I don't think he's going to make the opening. I think he'll be in AAA. So uh, another good arm um, that could help out with the bullpen later. But right now, look, this is not the, the most you know dominant-looking team of all time, but it's a pretty well-rounded team. I think the bullpen looks – I mean, not the bullpen, but the rotation looks a little iffy. But who knows? I mean, these guys could step it up. I'm hopeful that Spencer Howard has a breakthrough year for the Giants this year. And then we're like, damn, we're glad we picked him up. And that Keaton Wynn holds his own here. And these guys can hold it down at least until Robbie Ray and um, Cobb get back. So uh, there you have it. That's my opening day 26-man roster. Let me know your thoughts down below. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. Thank you guys for checking out this video. And we'll talk to you all very soon. We're coming hard with team previews starting tomorrow. And we're going to be talking about the 2024 season at nauseum over the next couple weeks. It's time to rock and roll. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.